Good morning, afternoon, evening to all of you, wherever you are, all over the world. I know a lot of things are happening on the East Coast of um, America, you know, with the storms, you know, and of course it's happening everywhere. It will be soon happening everywhere, you know, as it has been for quite a long time. I told you we have been in a climate destruction since it was announced in I think the 1700s or so that we were in a climate crisis and it was a crisis up in, uh, until, uh, up until the 1700s but once that first hurricane happened or that first earthquake happened or whatever major uh, climate event happened it became destruction so in other words we had you know, we was we if we didn't nip it in the bud in the 1700s, from the 1700s on, it's going to be destruction. There's no crisis anymore. It's destruction now, and so a lot of a lot of it has to do with how we are thinking about things, and we're not understanding uh, how you know how we were relaying information to people, and therefore it causes complacency. It causes confusion when you say that there's a crisis. Okay, it was a crisis. Now it's destruction. So we're going to really have to work on that if we choose to, especially the scientists and so-called expert and authorities. You know, it's, it's a decisive point. You know, it's a decisive point involving impending change. Okay, so it's, it's something that was, it was pending, but once it starts happening, it's no longer a crisis is a destruction so i know a lot of people are intentionally confusing everybody about our our situations okay because it it it, it fuels them you know it's a it's it's a payoff for them to see destruction and to see chaos and confusion that's 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 like a, a drug to them because of anger bitterness rage jealousy you know, you know, retaliation, revenge, all those type of negative energy, you know, those negative energy factors. So, I'm talking loud. Uh, hope, <laughs> hope you can adjust because I got this uh, this loud equipment going on in here. The, the air conditioner is loud. Everything's loud in here. I'm thankful that I can rest. I, I really am. But I'm always I have been a light rest. I. I I don't sleep hard like some people will be. I've known some people that I can. I used to have to shake them, shake them, shake them just to wake them up. For me, I, you know, I hear everything, and I like it like that. You know, it doesn't bother me that I hear what's going on outside. I hear what's going on outside my door, my windows, blah 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 blah. blah. So, again, we, if we choose to, have to work on our language, and our words, and our sounds and tones. And be very, I loved it. I loved it. I love how s some people that are in charge of leading people are kind of speaking a little bit more direct. But in most cases, the damage is done. Okay. In most cases, the damage is done. We are, again, like I said, you know, we are hundreds of years behind since the 1700s or since the first earthquake was recorded, the first flooding, you know, we've we've gone through this and, and we're being taught that we've gone through these type of wipe out destructions five times. Okay, it happened in smaller regions five times. I told you about Atlantis and Mew, how they just completely destroyed themselves um, and you know how these uh, these historic volcanoes, uh, the, the the asteroids, all these other major destruction elements uh, has happened where you know a large portion, large uh, majority of human beings were completely wiped out. Okay, now keep in mind uh, those uh, our population started exploding as well around i think around the 1700s you know in other words we you know you know it's like there's a piece of 
thought missing from a lot of us about how to think about what we are supposed to be thinking about. In other words, there's a there's a piece, you know, missing piece. I told you we're responsible for putting pieces together. Okay, we're we are disassembled. We are in pieces for a reason, and it's just like the planet. We're expanding, so to speak, but not growing. Keep that in mind. It's just Earth. Our Earth is expanding, and is and there's pieces there. And then slowly we're supposed to bring it all back together at some point, and then it all becomes one. So there's like so it's like that there's a missing piece somewhere, you know that's literal, figuratively, and metaphorically, where we're just not connecting with that piece that's that's there is right in, right in plain sight, but we are not connecting the dots with that piece of of, of a thinking process or a thought process of how to resolve our issues and not keep continually wiping everybody out, wiping out our our memories of what happened, not knowing that we've destroyed ourselves already five times. Okay, a lot of people thought it was a landing in Mew and but it's it's been more to that where, you know, like I said, asteroids have come through, you know, civil wars famine, epidemic, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, epidemics, you know, those kind of things. All right. Did I say, did I say today is, uh, 10, 10, 2024 on a Thursday, 10, 10, 10, 10, 2024 on a Thursday. I rested very well. Uh, you know, uh, there were no issues over here in my neck of the woods. I, uh, you know, I just uh, am paying attention to how I feel and what I'm sensing, and I know during this, these times of the year, if anybody's paying attention, you're gonna you're gonna notice a lot of people are getting into a uh, uh, depressive mood, meaning um, you're gonna see a change in, uh, in in the behaviors and actions of a lot of people, and maybe even yourself included. Okay, and so what I mean by that is um, around these times when I was a young girl. Uh, I always, there always felt like a sadness and a grief going on because I can remember during these times, it usually was always cold during, you know, when things would be happening, you know, like get these three o'clock in the morning calls, you know, and, and, um, being awakened out of, you know, be, being a young girl waking up to a phone, to phone calls in my parents' room and, um, where something's happened to a relative or something has happened here or something has happened there it was always like it was always cold and you know it gets uh dark dark sooner you know sun sun um sunsets you know i mean and even at the same time it's a beautiful time you know you got the uh, the fall leaves you have all of this stuff happening with the climate the change of um uh, leaves and the change in how animals are acting and behaving but if anybody's being honest there is a change in, in what we see i i was uh having some some uh services done yesterday and uh you know they had this uh television playing and and i like that they have that television playing because it calms me down okay who you know th this was uh dental services you know having my my dental care dental care is self-care and I know a lot of people do not want to put a lot of effort into dental care because sometimes it is painful. I'm not going to lie. And you hear all this drilling. <laughs> you know, it's not a comfortable, it's not a comfortable time. But, you know, you know, but I felt, I felt good even though I didn't enjoy it. And that's a, like I told you about being present in your life and being focused and concentrated. Sometimes it's just not a pleasant time. And, but I get through it and I got through it and I'm very happy uh, that I take care of myself as best I can. And so, like I said, you know, dental is just as important as, as uh, you know, any of the other services that we have, that we take, partake in. And there are some services I wish we would not keep advocating for. And those are the services that involve radiation, but we'll come back to that at another time. I'm not going to talk about that right now. Um, so... 
During these times, you're going to notice a difference in the, the personalities of people or moods or their disposition. You're going to see people that are going to be sad. You know, you're going, you're going to pick it up because that energy is so powerful. A lot of us don't realize our thoughts, how powerful our thoughts are and how our thoughts are swinging. And, it, you know, like I said, it's energy, energy, energy. And so if you are developed in your consciousness, you'll be able to pick up certain certain uh, waves of energy, you know, whether it's sadness, melancholy, depression. So around this time, there's a lot of depression. Uh, build back up, you know, people build it up and some just don't get over it. And I've said this and I'm not a doctor, okay, but I wish psychiatrists and psychologists will please consider your belief that you know it all because you don't, okay? And some of you, capitalize and make your fortune out of people healing in a spin his spin you know so you can get your monthly this your monthly that whether well, it's a monthly refills a monthly this a monthly visit a monthly this you know you you you, you you're in that spin that spin call, that spin helps you pay your bills don't get offended when that said it and you know it okay think about something creative it, there's nothing against providing for yourself and making a living and and getting the basic necessities in life and, and enjoying and, and for me enjoying you know the finer things in life without it always having to be materialistic okay just being with someone I love you know holding hands you know showing affection you know that that's the kind of stuff I like and enjoying a good meal enjoying a good times together whether we are you know, uh, walking in the park or watching a boring ass movie, <laughs> whatever intimacy, you know, intimacy doesn't necessarily have to be, uh, uh you know, t turn into something sexual, but it, but it can, but it doesn't have to. It's just like a continuous all day love affair, you know, be being in an intimacy, especially when you build it between two people. I, I'm, I'm into the two people. I'm not into the multiple partners, but that's on you. That's on you if that's what you choose to do. But around this time, a lot of tragedies have happened in lives of people. I mean, like I said, I can remember as a young girl, you know, in 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 my bedroom, you know, with my my other siblings, and these phone calls coming at two and three o'clock in the morning. No one's gonna call you at two and three o'clock in the morning just to be chatty but now yes now any people are going on with that all night long you know people are texting all night long people are watching these social media platforms going on certain cer certain platforms and they can just look at listen to m music all night long which i i mean there's a reason why i do it but others do it because they can't sleep maybe or they, they're ruminating. Most of the time it's rumination. Okay. So during these times, you're gonna people are gonna start feeling these melancholy because they're you know why? Because they're because they're ruminating. They're ruminating over tragedies, they're ruminating over uh sadness, they're ruminating. And sometimes, you know, when you're going through grief, grief is um is very powerful energy as well. And grief can turn into depression. Grief does turn into unresolved grief turns into depression so all i'm asking and no one has to know is to reconsider how you remember loved ones that you lost you know my father he died in the month of december you know around that time and then my mother died in you know during the summer but at the same time i was prepared for both really i mean i you know i i wasn't I wasn't surprised, put it that way, because I was paying attention to both of my parents, you know, via certain, certain, you know, I just was paying attention to them, listening to them, especially how my dad would speak on the phone. I knew he was, he was, um, he, he was having trouble, you know, speaking and my dad w was not that type of man. So you, so if you're honest with yourself and you're just being kind and gentle with yourself, because, you know, that that's love when you are concerned about someone's health and well-being that's the act of that's an act of love and especially our parents you know what i mean 
you know, I was a, uh, I, I was a daddy's girl growing up, you know, and then I eventually became a mama's girl too. So I was close. I, I, I began to understand both of them. I wish I had asked more questions of my dad because he had a great memory, fantastic memory. My mom, not so much. So uh, there's going to be a lot of grief, melancholy, you know, what if people are, you know, grieving over what if, what if I should have this, I should have this, did, did, you know, especially over loved ones that we've lost. So be kind and gentle with yourself and realize, you know, um, you know, living and dying go go hand in hand they go together and um and be be uh be just be grounded and aware and ask yourself questions it's like okay how is this benefiting me to continue to grieve this way you know just just ask yourself these kind and gentle questions just question yourself what is the benefit to me to hold it on to this grief you know you can ask that question and allow your consciousness to provide answers to you by being open to that. And let me just also be very, um, remind you of the dangers and pitfalls of meditation. A lot of people like to make a big deal out of meditation. And basically what people are doing with meditation is, uh, is um, well, not to mention they're commercializing it, but they're giving meditation all of this, this so-called uh, uh, unnecessary power. Okay, meditation is just simple as breathing. And you are paying attention to what you hear. You know, meditation is not um, anything to mess around with, just like negative energy or even positive energy. It's just a tool, and it, it is just it allows you to be present, be grounded, be focused, and concentrated. That's it. There's no magical powers coming from that. That's your, con you know, if anything is happening, it's happening with your, you know, via your consciousness, but it's all done unconscious. In other words, you have no idea what's happening to you until you wake up one morning and, and you realize something's different. That's happened to me many, many times, especially I think around 2022, 2023. You know, one day I went to bed as usual and I woke up and that's when I realized, you know, something's changed here. I couldn't put my finger on it, but I eventually figured it out. So, so during these times, if you are experiencing some type of grief, and some of you have had long-term grief, and you know it, and you get, and you know that it's uh it's unresolved because you get offended when your partner says, "Hey, you know, you got to snap out of it," you know, you know, and when you're, you know, because. You know, to be around someone that's depressed is heavy. It's heavy, especially when you have, you know, especially if you're depressed and you have a partner that isn't. It's draining. Okay, so if you if you love someone and you claim you do, you know, the act of love is being considerate of others. Okay, and also be considerate of yourself. And to it's, see if you can work on these things that are holding you down, these burdens. Because that's what depression, depression is a burden. At the same time, it's, it's rumination at a, an acute level, though. An acute level of, let's see what it says here, depression. Okay, it's, com it's commercialized, by the way. Every, you know, let's see. It says here, it's a, uh, it's a mood a, uh, aversion to activities. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, now they got all these languages to describe it. You know, uh, depressive, per persistent depressive disorder, manic depressive, clinical depression. So our psychiatrists, we, we need to, we need to hold our psychiatrists and psychologists who, who claim, you know, or who are proud to admit and put, you know, always bring that up in their conversations with you. We need to hold them accountable to put in a stop to certain certain realities that they created, not the patient. The patient didn't create all of this, all of this language, depressive, uh, manic depressive, persistent depressive disorder, clinical. Okay, a patient is not creating that. That's the that it is the psychiatrists and psychologists and these scientists, all of those because it's all they all kind of 
mingle together because the scientists are there because, you know, it's, it's about medication too, okay, persistent medication, okay, which some may need. So we need to hold our psychiatrists, our psychologists, our, our uh, anyone that's in this field dealing with depress depression, okay? Because all it is in a simple form and no one wants it is, is rumination. You're ruminating over a tragic event, a painful event. You just, you, you keep thinking about it. And so you're in a spin. Simply is that. Your psychiatrist, your psychologist, your therapist, your, whoever is involved in supposedly caring for you ought to snap out of it. Okay? And get off this spin of having people heal and heal and heal for 10, 20, 30 for, for their whole lives and not bringing these people to being healed. Okay? Like I said, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm, but I can see clearly now what this is. A lot of it is about greed. It's not about healing you or having you healed. It's about greed. Okay? Let's just call it out. So I say to you that if you are going through some tough moments during these times, just share and talk to someone other than your therapist. That someone that is can be neutral. Hopefully, some of you have neutral friends. Meaning, when I say neutral friends, they're not super religious. Uh, they're not uh, super unreligious. You know, they're kind of in the middle. You know, what I mean, that's where I am. You know, where they can they can see both sides of the story uh, of the story, and most importantly, they have compassion and empathy. Okay, they're not. You know, and 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 be, be very 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 aware of these snakes, as they say, quote unquote, uh, uh, psychopaths, sociopaths, narcissistic, chlorics, all of those type of personalities that are in a feeding frenzy when you are uh, at a vulnerable point. Vulnerability is a great place to grow, but it's also a place where you can be taken advantage of and manipulated, deceived, and all that kind of stuff. That's why during these times, all this uh, deceptive marketing is going on, you know, where, you know, they're, they're, they're ringing the bells certain ways. They have these colors. They have these sounds and tones. Be present of it. Okay. Be present. And, and, and uh, again, when you are dealing with these mood swings, these, these, um, these uh, melancholy, um, you know, all of these um, factors that are changing your mood, you know, just be mindful of that and be, be present, ground yourself, protect yourself, you know, reach out to people. Again, like I said, preferably somebody is neutral in the middle. They don't have a hidden agenda. They truly care about you. They clearly, they clearly, clearly want to see you healed. Okay. So that's all I'm going to talk about right now. There's a lot more to say. I'm sure I'm going to come on back, but again, no one has to know that you're working on your insides, okay? Just work on it, okay? When you are, whether you're with someone or not, you need to just work on it and work on how to do this internally where no one has to know, all right? I'm going to send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. It's about you and, and, and how you uh, protect yourself, love yourself, and others will do the same. Trust me, I'll be back.